Good morning, DJs! Pressing some buttons today and let's freaking go! Welcome to Altcoin, Altcoin Drift! And it's Monday, best day of the week, 100%! So many opportunities, so many chances! Let's squeeze it! Another week in crypto land, let's freaking go! And guys, look on this weekly candle from the Bitcoin. Wonderful, wonderful close. It's a definite direction. We are going up. This is up only season, it's confirmed. No doubts about that! And guys, one important metric that I see today is web traffic, Google search volume. You know what's coming? People are searching for Bitcoin. And this is not even the peak. This is not even the peak. You know what's going to happen in the top of the bull market. Retail is coming. Retail is slowly coming, but they are not buying Bitcoin just yet. You know what they are doing? They are watching from the sidelines. They are thinking, OMG, Bitcoin is going up. Bitcoin did it again. So it's not a scam. So maybe some of them will buy some ETFs for the pension funds and so on. But some of them will wait on the sidelines and say, all right, it's too expensive now. I'm going to do what? I'm going to wait for correction. And correction will probably not come. Or even if the correction will come, they will still not buy. Because why? Because they will be too afraid. Because they will say, oh, now it's dead. Now it's dead again. So I'm not buying. Simple as that. They are always wrong. Retail is always wrong. They need to learn. And the human psychology is always working in the same way. So in the end, what's going to happen? They will not buy Bitcoin. Bitcoin will hit all-time all high and then they will be extremely excited, missing the boat, FOMOing in and FOMOing in where? Into the altcoins. This is where we will start a massive altcoin season, massive altcoin run. This is what's going to happen. And look on this, look on this one. This is open interest, aggregated open interest of Bitcoin futures. And we are getting to some high levels, high levels. People are longing or shorting like crazy. I don't know what you are doing. I would be longing. But, you know, when the open interest is getting high, there is a big chance that we will see some flash crash or some liquidation event to grab this liquidity from the market. Simple as that. This is how it works. Always market is thirsty to grab the liquidity. So be careful. We might see some flash crash in both directions. If people are shorting from this level, then we are going up. If people are longing, then we will go down, crush it, smash it, grab the liquidity and continue the movement. Good. Let's take a look on the altcoins. Sell altcoins. Altcoins are so happy. Altcoins are cheering up. Altcoins are smashing it. And guys, graph. Now we see those pumps. Now we see the pumps. Now people are seeing that, okay, we are probably not going down or maybe not that much to the downside. So let's jump in and we have graph 25%. We have Optimus 7.7 .7 stacks, HBAR, ICP. Everything is pumping nicely. Another page here, WorldCoin, WorldCoin with the Sora. I think this was the catalyst for 35% up in the world coin we have beam plus 15 percent beam is smashing is this is the winner this is the winner for sure hnt blur fetch ai render plus 10 percent another so very good another page here radix ajx ens illuvium plus 10 frax share good on the seven, seven days time frame, we have graph 61%, Fed 50%, stacks 46 So, is it altcoin season? It's not that euphoric and explosive, but it's definitely good time to be in altcoins, not gonna lie. Bitcoin dominance may be still high, but the fact is that the entire market is growing, is moving. So Bitcoin is moving up and altcoins are moving up together with Bitcoin. That's the fact. Bitcoin dominance is high, but still altcoins are pumping. So how can you look on the Bitcoin dominance and see and use it as indicator to, to jump on altcoins or not? Not really, not really, guys. Altcoins are pumping, altcoins are already outperforming Bitcoin, but you know that you need to be picky and choose the winners, choose the ones that are actually outperforming because these days it's not like everything is going up. There are clearly some winners that are outperforming the market and there are clearly many losers that are not doing that much because the supply of new coins of the projects out there is way higher than the demand actually. So you need to pick up the winners 
and let them run. All right. Top tokens on the move for today, we have Creo, AGC again, G-Swift is smashing, Render is moving on Polygon, Fox, buy, 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 Wrapped, uh, Balancer AI, good one, CGPT, so there you go, look for some nice juicy opportunities here on this graph, definitely you can find them, and in terms of the buy pressure for today, we have staked Ave. All right, Illuvium, Illuvium, 800k buy pressure. It's mm, the on-chain strength is minus eight, so seems like I don't know if it's gonna make it or not. But definitely some uh, some buy pressure is coming at least today. But people are selling, distributing. So I don't think with this metric I probably it's going to be rejected probably it's going to be rejected and have some continuation of the triangle pattern to get the massive breakdown break up later on so this is Illuvium Fracture another big one good one Singularity Ajax Pork Agora token is here and Heroes of Mavia number nine Altered State Asto number 10. Don't know this project. 24 million. This could be interesting. Let's have a look later. And guys, moving on to net experience buyers, we have Balancer AI again. 229. Big number, big number. It's going up like crazy. Very strong on chain. Very strong. I would wait for some consolidation because uh, definitely don't chase the green candle. Wait until it finishes the move, the impulse, then it will probably take a pullback, have some consolidation and then you can uh, catch up for another leg up. This is the playbook, this is the pattern we are following here. We are not chasing the green candles, we are waiting until it finishes the move. It gets the pullback, then we wait for consolidation, then we grab the packs. These are the winning playbooks. This is the blueprint. All right, moving on. What else do we see here? Uh, ENQAI, AIT, Edges AI. Guys, look at this. Only AI coins, only AI coins. What people are buying? I'm telling you, AI is the leading narrative. You, if you, if you have to choose one narrative, AI is the one. It brings the excitement. It brings the most speculation. People don't really know what to expect. There are not that many tangible products out there with AI. Okay, you can imagine you have the chat GPT. There, okay, that was wrong. There are so many products. Like people are saying what Sora is doing. It's mind blowing. Those images, diffusion models, it's mind blowing. This is what blows people mind and they can speculate and imagine and be excited for even, even more. And it's gonna be amazing. The metaverse combination with AI, rapid, the uh, rendering of all of the stuff, it's gonna be mind-blowing. The world is changing crypto and AI, metaverse, virtual reality. Ay, 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 guys, it's amazing, it's amazing. What a time to be alive, really. Super exciting. So, AI, 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 Bobo. <laughs> Bobo is a meme coin here in top 10. Zero X scans, we have zero, zero AI. Mostly AI, this is what we see here. All right, so, okay, this is some of my research. Let's move on, let's move on. And actually, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, smashing some buttons. Let's click some buttons and make some money. This is what we are doing, clicking the buttons and making them money. Oh, yes, guys. So, have a wonderful week and see you very, very soon. Cheers.